Whoo! I ran into a big problem. Well, I didn't run into a big problem. I created a big problem. Let's go over it. I don't know how to tune. So I searched the internet for some tunes. I've been kind of dabbling here and there with PCM Hammer, uh, LS Droid for Windows, um, and Tuner Pro. I got it so that this thing would start and run, so I bypassed the vats and kind of watched some YouTube videos on at least being able to get this thing started and running. That wasn't good enough for me, so I tried to cheap out and I searched the internet and I found a tune that had basically my same specs, 5.3, sloppy stage two cam, but it was for a manual transmission and I had an automatic transmission. So I thought I'll be smart and I just copied and pasted my manual transmission settings into the tune. Uh, when I downloaded the tune, it bricked the PCM. So currently the PCM is pulled out it's been sent to an awesome dude on the LS Droid Facebook group, and he was gonna try and unbrick it. Apparently he's got some kind of a program that'll do it. I just heard from him Friday that the PCM was so bricked that it, it smoked. Uh, so I don't have a PCM. Uh, all that stuff is still up in the air as far as how I'm going to get another PCM. I mean, obviously, I could probably go to a local junkyard. The only junkyard around here that has them is going to be one where it's not like a pull and save or a you pull it or whatever. Uh, if I could find one at a place like that, it'd probably cost me about 30 bucks for a PCM, but I gotta spend 80 bucks on a PCM, plus they want a core. Now I don't have the core, so it's probably gonna cost more than that. The dude that is fixing mine, fixing mine now that it's unfixable, said that he was gonna look through his stack of PCMs and try and get me another one so we'll we'll see how all that pans out so i'm stepping away from the 5.3 i don't think i'm gonna film any more of the engine work it's too monotonous for me it's probably monotonous and boring for you guys so what well, so i've got the Radiator is in now, the belt is on, the belt stays on. I, I've got all that worked out. Uh, I still have to connect the transmission cooler lines to the radiator, but other than that, I think the radiator's completely in. I mean, this thing's ready to go if I can get a PCM and have it tuned. So, we're gonna move on to bodywork. If you guys want to see the bodywork on this car and see this car transform from its greenish blue to hopefully a absolutely beautiful badass black, stick around. This is going to be the next series in the Project Black Widow build. I hope you guys stick around. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get it. Don't you want to have fun? Said that they don't got a future, future like that. It burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with. Make him forget somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed, but they're done. Sorry, it won't be enough this time. Yeah, he's calling all his friends to get some action and distract him right now. He's fine, but Lucy on the line, let's get this started. Where's the party tonight?
Peeled off the rear bumper today, this morning. Found a little ding right there, so we put some body filler in her. Hi, Angelina! What's up? Put some body filler where it needed to be on the wing. So, I just pressure washed it, getting ready to taper off and shoot her with some black primer. And my kids came to join me. So, here we go! Tell you what, man, I'm about one I didn't record away from not doing this YouTube stuff anymore. I get too ahead of myself and I forget to hit the damn button and, well, you miss everything. I'm awful at this YouTube shit. Two coats of primer on. Hopefully all this tiger striping goes away. I think it's just wet in some places and not in others. Besides, it's a high build primer, so it's gonna get sanded with like 600 anyway before I put the base coat on. So that should be okay. And since I'm a new painter, I'll probably shoot the base coat on it clear coat it and I'll have to wet sand it and then buff it and hopefully it turns out who knows I mean I'm just I at least I could say I did it myself it's like it's like when people say they see something that you did and they go did you do that and you're not sure if it's supposed to be like that looks like crap or wow you did that so who knows i'm sure there's going to be mistakes if i don't point them out to people maybe they'll never see them we'll just have to see whatever i'm not perfect far 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 from perfect but <coughs> it's at least 
Got two coats of primer on it. Everywhere. I just absolutely hated that bluish green color. Couldn't couldn't do it like this color right here. Now I'm not planning on keeping it like that. I just I didn't wash it right there. So, I didn't want to spray it right there, but We'll get to that part. Don't you worry none about it. I still have to do the bumpers and the mirrors and the and the uh, headlight covers. The doors still need to be done. I still have to take the rear hatch off so I can do the inside of there. But at least the majority of it is primed. And I can wait on this for a little bit now and then give it a final sanding. I'll probably do like a guide coat on it and then sand it down, get all the orange peel and see if there's any other imperfections. Because I, I did have to do a little bit of body work. Just not very much. This thing was pretty straight. So did a little bit of body work we'll see how that comes out i still have to shoot the hood with another coat of primer um but we're getting there we're definitely getting there my pcm this has been like weeks since i started this first video we went to, i went to vegas for a week for work and then i got sick when i got home and it's just a process but anyway uh count on a video from me once every six months because i'm on top of it uh, anyway, the PCM is still out. I've talked to the guy a couple times. I'm not in a hurry because I got plenty of other stuff to do. My son-in-law brought up to me that I should do suicide doors on this thing. So we'll do the tilt front hood and suicide doors. But I don't know, man. Like, that would take some serious, serious fabrication. But, uh, but I'm definitely entertaining the idea just because different. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. We'll just have to see how that turns out. We'll just, I'll play around with it a, a little bit. I'm in no hurry to get this car done. I, I kind of am and I kind of am not because like it would be kind of cool to be able to start this thing up and roll it outside and drive it around and stuff but it's not a daily driver by any stretch of the imagination so it's just my leave the world behind to get out in the shop and tinker around toy um you know and it's good practice you can't have too many skill sets under your belt in my opinion so just get out here and screw around with it and see what we can do. I mean, if the whole thing freaking flops, what is it? Money and time down the drain? Pfft, whatever, you know what I mean? At least I'm having fun while we're doing it. And I don't anticipate the whole thing flopping anyway. I kind of feel like it, eventually it will run and drive. And, you know, look, de look decent from 20 feet away. Who knows? Um, it's not going to be a show car by any stretch of the imagination probably bring it to some cars and coffees or something especially if i do end up doing the tilt front hood and the suicide doors i think it would uh, garner a lot of attention that way but like i said we have to see i still have all the interior work to do i hate the steering wheel in this thing as i've mentioned before i want to do a different steering wheel i want to do fifth gen camaro interior in this thing but that stuff is expensive even from junkyards they know what they got there boy i tell you what but we'll see i mean i might just end up throwing the old interior back in and tinker on it from time to time after it's up and driving who knows we'll just have to see anyway guys i'm gonna wrap this video now that it's in primer and in the next video we'll do a little wet sanding and we'll see how that stuff turns out and then hopefully here in the next 
year or two, we'll put her in base coat. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry it's been so long. I always say that. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace. And I'm out.